If you're here, chances are that you're curious about how to land a job at a big tech company, or maybe you wonder what the interview process looks like for a data analytics role at Amazon. Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lore, and today I'm going to take you through my personal experience of interviewing for a data analytics lead role at Amazon. I'll be sharing with you all the juicy details from the first to the final round of interview. Spoiler alert, it took me nine <laughs> interviews to finally receive the offer. But don't worry, I'm here to tell you all all about the ups and downs of my experience along with some tips and tricks that will help you stand out from the crowd and land that dream job. Whether you're currently job hunting or just curious about the behind the scenes of a tech recruitment, stick with me till the end and without further ado, let's get into the so what of this video. The first step in my interview process for a data analytics role at Amazon was a phone screening with a recruiter. During this interview, the recruiter will assess your skills and experience to determine if they match the requirements of the job and if you would be a good fit for the company culture. There is not much to prepare for this interview unless your background is not related to the role you're applying for. In my case, I had previous experience in the data analytics field and so I just had to review my CV before the call and make sure to be honest and clear about my qualifications and why I was interested in working for Amazon. The behind the scene of this type of interview is that the recruiter wants to make sure that the candidate is a good fit to start the whole interviewing process. And the reason for that is that in the next steps, candidates will have interviews with junior and senior Amazon employees. And so the recruiter has to make sure that, you know, the candidate will not waste employees time since they are taking time off from work to interview for the role. And usually the recruiter knows only the high level details about the position and actually sometimes might give information that are not 100% precise on the role. So because asking questions is always good in an interview, my tip for you and what I've done myself at this first stage is to mainly ask questions about the interview process itself because that is precisely what the expertise of the recruiter is about. And here are some examples of questions that you might ask the recruiter during the phone screening. Step two in the interview process for a data analytics role at Amazon was a phone interview with the hiring manager. For those of you who don't know, the hiring manager is the person who will be directly supervising uh, the job candidate if they are hired. It's basically the person that requested to have one more person in his or her team and therefore makes the final decision on which candidate to hire for that specific uh, job opening. During this interview, I got asked the classic question, why you want to work for us? And so I had to explain, uh, you know, my passions for tech, uh, for data analytics. But my tip here for you is to find a very personal answer to this question, because here most candidates will tend to answer in the same boring way. So this is actually a good chance for you to stand out. And so because my role was more related to the cloud computing part of Amazon, I explained that the app that I use every single day is Notion, which has dramatically improved my life. And then I mentioned how Notion is hosted uh, within AWS, which is the cloud service offered by Amazon. And I made the uh, immediate connection on how Amazon services are making my life so much easier. And it would be a privilege to work in a company that is making such a huge impact on people's life. And so with this answer, in my opinion, I'm answering the questions, but at the same time, I'm giving like a more personal touch to it. And actually I'm showing my knowledge of Amazon services, everything at the same time. Because obviously the purpose of this call is also to make sure that even though you might not know all the details of the business, at least you have the right level of understanding of the industry and the company's offering. Then I got asked about a time when I found a cool insight in my previous experience that made an impact. And so I had to explain a project uh, that I work on on my previous company. And so I had to make sure to use the STAR method, which I'm sure you're familiar with. But if not, this is just a technique used to answer behavioral interview questions by describing a specific situation, task, action, and result. It basically helps to make sure that you're covering all the main points, and so make sure to remember this framework whenever you're answering uh, an interview question. The third step in the interview process for a data analytics role at Amazon is the SQL technical interview. 
This interview assesses the candidate's proficiency in SQL and their ability to manipulate data in a database. So usually what's happening is that the interviewer will provide a scenario and ask the candidate to write SQL queries to solve uh, the problem. My tip here is to make sure to know the differences between MySQL and PostgreSQL because you won't know which one will be used in the interview and you might know that uh, some functions that work in MySQL actually don't work in PostgreSQL. During the interview, it is important to uh, communicate clearly and explain the thought process behind each query. That's maybe more important than the coding side uh, itself. And candidates should also be prepared to explain the reasoning behind their approach and to answer any follow-up questions that the interviewer may have. And this, to be honest, was the most stressful interview just because coding with a person online looking and checking on you makes it very hard to concentrate. And I will leave here in the screen an example of a SQL scenario question that was similar to the one that I got. And then after you answer that, you can imagine to get a more advanced uh, questions similar to this one and keep going until the time is over. And another tip for you here is to ask the interviewer for maybe one or two minutes to think about the answer before starting to code. There is nothing wrong with that and this will prevent you to panic. Now, to explain the following interview, uh, let me give you a bit of context, which was explained to me by the recruiter. So Amazon has uh, 14 what are called leadership uh, principles that are used to guide its decision making and uh, hiring process as well. These are basically the main values of Amazon that were designed by Jeff Bezos himself when he founded the company. Now, in the main step of Amazon interview process, they want to make sure that the candidates have the values and skills that align with the company's culture. And so to do that, they asked me to prepare a few examples from my past experience where I use these principles. So that is, let's say, two examples time 14 principle. That is around 28 examples. And the problem was that I had to be original with the examples because obviously it is easy to see if I'm using the same example to cover multiple principles. From here, I had five different interviews where each interviewer focused on two uh, leadership principles. And so let's make an example to make it easier because I feel like this is not the most immediate interview format to have. So let's say that John was my interviewer. He would come to the interview and let's say he would focus on uh, customer obsession and ownership, which are two of the uh, leadership principles. So he would ask me something like, tell me about the time where you went above and beyond for a customer. And I would try to give the answer from my past experience. The other key problem here is that I didn't know the principle that the interviewer had to focus on. So basically I had to first guess the principle that he was uh, talking about from all the 14 and then remember the example that I prepare and obviously explain it very well. It was important to guess the right principle because otherwise I would have given an answer that was basically out of scope and the interviewer could not have assessed. And so I had five interviews with five different people based on this format. And I have to say I was completely exhausted after the last one. And here the behind the scene after these five calls is that the five interviewer would uh, meet all together to discuss their notes on my performance and would give either a pass or not pass. And if the majority of the votes are pass, then technically you should be expecting an offer. But <laughs> this was not the case for me. And so at this point, I was super anxious about the final verdict and I was really looking for the final call from HR with the result. So day one, nothing. Day two, nothing. Day three, still nothing. And then day four, I finally got the call from HR. And so I pick up the phone and HR said, uh, well, the interview went very well, but, and you know, at that point I was like, what do you mean, but all for nothing? And so they said, but the role that you apply for is not available anymore. However, there is a similar role available and uh, you would just need to have another call with that team. And so I have to say that besides the huge stress, I was pleased to know that at Amazon, you're not really competing with uh, other candidates, but if you are successful in all the interviews, but for some reasons, the role you apply for is not uh, available anymore, they will propose a similar role whenever it becomes available. 
And so this is exactly what happened to me as another candidate started the interview process before me and got the job I was also interviewing for. Luckily, the role they proposed to me was exactly the same. So still a data analytics role, but focus more on the worldwide market, which to me was actually better as that means that I can uh, travel a bit more. And actually I'm gonna leave uh, here in the screen a link to my business trip to Seattle in case you want to check it out. And so yeah, I had the last informal call with the manager of the other team. They were aware that I already passed all the other interviews. So it was more like a chat to get to know each other. And so after nine interviews, I finally got this my job offer for a data analytics lead role at Amazon. And there you go, this was my interview process. Obviously this was my experience and you know, other interviews might be slightly different. And well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments down below if there are any aspects that you want me to cover in more detail. I will leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.